Did anyone else uh, take ride their bike down here? <laughs> yeah, no one else? I'm the only one? Uh, <laughs> one that was a comedian in the back who was really laughing. <laughs> really vicious in the back, that was that laugh. <laughs> I have a car. <laughs> I was just laugh. I'm funnier because I have a car. Uh, I highly recommend riding a bicycle around Los Angeles because it's uh, good for the environment and it's good for the economy, saves so you money on gas, and uh, it's good exercise, obviously. Uh, the one downside to riding a bike in Los Angeles is that there's no car horn. Uh, so when I see an attractive young lady such as yourselves walking down the sidewalk, I cannot show my appreciation for your physical beauty by utilizing my car horn. Uh, instead, I have to yell, Hi! You're hot! I think you're hot! I'm riding a bicycle. Wearing a helmet and a backpack. And I'm totally sweaty. Like a glazed ham. Thanks for something. Hop on my pegs and we'll pedal off into the sunset. Please, please. Uh, I didn't ride my bicycle down here, I just lied to you. Take that. You lied, that's the power of a microphone. Uh, I didn't ride my bicycle down here because my bicycle uh, was stolen. Person steals a bicycle. That's what I have. Someone who's environmentally conscious, but socially a dick. I want my children to grow up to appreciate the glaciers, but this guy, screw him, he's walking home. He needs to slow down, stop and smell the roses. He's taking life too fast with his 10 speeds. One time I had my bicycle stolen by the bus. I put my bicycle on the bus and then it left. Without me. There goes options A and B. What do you do at that point? I called Metro Customer Service. Um, can you take my bicycle? And they said, well, that was the last bus. It's not coming back. So, start walking. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so I called them the next day and uh, asked, uh, how do I get my bicycle back? Uh, the bus left with my bicycle, without me, but my bicycle. And they said, well, you can come down to Metro Customer Service Center uh, downtown Los Angeles, conveniently located now that we have your one form of transportation. <laughs> uh, they said, come down to the Customer Service Center in three to five days, you can come pick up your bicycle. And I was like, three to five days? Really? I called back, got someone else, and they're like, three to five days, you'll have to wait three to five days to get your bicycle back. Because that's how long it's going to take them to move my bicycle from the end of the route back to their headquarters. Which makes no sense to me, because transportation is the industry they're in. <laughs> all they do all day is drive a bus around the city. I don't understand it's taking so long. I've done the work for you. I put my bike on the bus. <laughs> All you have to do is drive home. It's ridiculous. I have a love-hate relationship with the bus. I still ride this. Does anybody ride the bus? Anybody ride? Obama's not changing shit. No one's on the bus. That's okay. Uh, I recommend taking a bus ride uh, as a self-esteem booster for you. Man. I recommend that you take the bus. It's a little pick-me-up. If you're feeling down about yourself or your own life, what have you, uh, for $1.25, you can get on the bus. 
and then get off one stop later and say to yourself, I never have to do this ever again. Because riding the bus is a horrible experience, as anyone will tell you, uh, and including me right now with this next bit. <laughs> Angeles was a good smell thing, and one of the most uh, interesting things I've found in the bus is that there is graffiti on the bus. There is, there is a gang tagging the bus. One gang is like, yeah, that's right, we ride the 212. That's our territory. From the 212 to the 134 is like turf. We will fight you for it. We will throw down until 11.58. We have to catch a connecting bus and the <laughs> we'll, we'll call this game fight by decision. The Metro stops. The Metro stops running after midnight. I don't know, express. Here's another tidbit about the Metro. Is, uh, on Christmas Eve, the, the bus is free. It's something they don't advertise. You have to find that out yourself. Uh, I was in Los Angeles, my flight got canceled, and then they rebooked me for Christmas Eve morning. I had to fly out at 6 a.m. Really hard to get someone to drive you to the airport at 6 a.m. on Christmas Eve. Uh, so I'm taking the bus, and the bus driver is like, no, 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 the bus is free today. Don't worry about it. That's kind of a, that's a new sadness when a guy who drives the bus on Christmas Eve is like, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Just don't worry. Just, <laughs> dragging my suitcase with the wheels up the steps. Like, don't, don't worry about it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Not sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll get my bicycle back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, New Year's resolutions. Anyone else trying to lose weight? Anybody else? Woo! That's okay. You don't, you don't have to tell me. I, uh, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to go on a diet. But uh, the problem I have is that uh, no one ever believes me. <laughs> so I'll be like, hey, what, you want a piece of cake? I'm like, no, I'm trying to cut, cut back. And they're like, <laughs> just have a piece of cake. <laughs> just have a piece of cake. Some kind of death row in there, like, you're long gone. <laughs> There's no hope for you at this point. You might as well enjoy what you have left. Maybe <laughs> like an 80-year-old grandparent. Uh, we don't have to worry about it until they quit smoking. Man. Just, have, just have a piece of cake. Well, you want some ice cream with that, too? Come on, just keep going. Just keep going. I will choose some goal. Uh, internet dating. Other cliche comic bit. All right, internet dating. i just like to say this. There's a lot of comedians, a lot of people out there have had uh, poor experiences uh, with internet dating because there's a lot of freaks out there uh, and I'd just like to say I'm sorry, it's me. <laughs> it's me. I'm, I'm the person who's like reading the profiles and it's like they like uh, outdoor activities. I'm like, you like outdoor activities? So do I. Do you have a bike? I ride my bike all over Los Angeles. Why don't we go on a bike ride sometime? That'd be a fun day. Oh, I see that you're like us on some tour. I'm saying, no problem. Why don't we go? I'm like, oh, no reply. <laughs> The best I get uh, with women is uh, is adorable, right, Jody? Yep. <laughs> I don't want to brag or anything, but uh, last week uh, Jody and I became MySpace friends. <laughs> <laughs> Things are a little awkward this week. <laughs> is adorable, uh, which is nice, but it's not really, really nice, because it's like, I believe you have the potential to be adored. It's not like, I don't adore you, but if someone told me that they adored you, I would believe them. It's not beyond possibility. I believe that the possibility is there that someone could adore you. I would believe that. I wouldn't call into question if someone found you adorable. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.